The T90M is an upgraded version of T90 tank. It is also referred to as ProRiv 3. In 2017 the tank was first publicly revealed and trailed in the same year. There are a number of improvements being incorporated in terms of protection, mobility, and firepower over the original T90A tank. It is an upgraded variant of the export version of the T90 MS MBT, developed and designed by Russia's largest tank maker, Eurovaganzavod. This tank will be fitted with an upgraded turret, protected by relict explosive reactive armor, and feature new mission systems, including the latest version of Russia's most advanced fire control system. This main battle tank has a crew of three, including commander, gunner, and driver. Layout of the T-90M model 2017 ProRiv 3 is similar to all the families of Russian T-90 MBTs with driver at the front, turret in the center, and the power pack at the rear. The other two members are seated in the turret with the gunner on the left and the commander on the right. T-90M features a new all-welded turret design. The tank is protected by relict explosive reactive armor fitted at the front and on each side of the turret. The lower part of the turret on 360 degrees is protected by an RPG metal net. Front of the hull is also protected by a modular ERA, and each side are fitted with additional armor plates at the front and barslat armor at the rear. The rear part of the hull and turret are protected with the same metal net to increase protection against anti-tank RPG attacks. Relict features higher protection performance and serviceability compared with the Contact 5 ERA suite. The frontal ERA tiles are integrated with a single module that can be easily replaced in the field. The Relicts offer more protection against APFSDS and tandem high-explosive anti-tank munitions. Similarly, the net uses metal nodes that disrupt the fusing of the warhead. This tank is fitted with NBC protection and automatic fire suppression systems. Its interior is lined with spall liner. There is also a countermeasure system, which triggers smoke screen dischargers once the tank is being illuminated by a laser beam. This system significantly reduces the chance of being hit by enemy anti-tank guided weapons with semi-automatic guidance. The main armament includes 125mm 2A46M5 gun, a remotely operated weapon station armed with a NSVT 12.7mm heavy machine gun at the rear of the commander hatch, and one PKD 7.62mm coaxial machine gun mounted to the right of the main armament. 2A46M5 has longer range and is more accurate than the standard gun of the T-90. It uses the same 125mm ammunition as other Russian main battle tanks. Shell it fires are APFSDS, high explosive anti-tank, and three VOF-128 Telnik air-bursting projectile armed with a high-explosive fragmentation warhead which is designed to explode in front of the target, unleashing shrapnel in a cone pattern forward of the projectile. This tank can also launch 9M119 Reflex Western reporting name AT-11 or Sniper B anti-tank guided missiles in the same manner as ordinary munitions. These missiles have a range of 4 to 5 kilometers and can also engage low-flying helicopters. T-90M carries a total of 43 ammunition for the 125mm gun, 1250 rounds for the 7.62mm coaxial machine gun, and 300 rounds for the 12.7mm machine gun. Its turret is equipped with an automatic carousel loader mounted on the turret floor and also on the rear wall of the turret. The carousel carries 22 ready-to-use projectiles. T-90M has a new Kalina fire control system and updated observation and aiming devices providing tank-type target detection at a range of 5,000 meters by day, the Kalina system is also found on Russia's new T-14 Armada MBT. The tank is incorporated with an enhanced dual-axis gun stabilizer and automatic target tracker that can operate in hunter-killer mode. Tank commander uses a panoramic sight with thermal vision to search for targets. Once the target is selected the gun is laid on the target automatically and the gunner completes all the aiming and firing process. During that time commander looks for the next target. Furthermore, target acquisition system tracks selected targets automatically. It is claimed that the new tank is 15 to 20% more accurate than its predecessor.
ProRiv 3 is motorized with V92S2 engine developing 1000 horsepower coupled to a manual transmission with 7 forward and 1 reverse gear. It can run at a maximum road speed of 60 km per hour with a maximum cruising range of 550 km. The torsion bar suspension on each side consists of 6 dual rubber tired road wheels with the drive sprocket at the rear, idler at the front, and 3 track return rollers. It is also fitted with auxiliary power unit, which powers all systems when the main engine is turned off. Vehicle has a built-in self-entrenching blade and can prepare itself an emplacement within 12 to 40 minutes, depending on the ground type. There is a provision to equip a mine plow. A deep wading kit can be installed by tank's crew within 20 minutes. Once the kit is attached the tank can ford water obstacles up to 5 meters deep. In future, variants of T90M will be protected by hard-kill active protection systems, which seems similar to the Afghanit system installed on the T14 Armada. The upgraded variant of T90A tank in service to T90M standard is called T90AM. Russian Army plans to upgrade at least some of its T90 tanks to this new standard in order to increase its capabilities. The T90M was trialed by the Russian Army in 2017. During the same year a contract was signed to deliver the first batch of 10 newly built T-90M tanks to the Russian army and to upgrade another 20 T-90A tanks to a similar T-90AM standards.